on behalf of every thespian, actor, crew member, artist, and poet, and crew member, craft services runner, on behalf of every person that's ever taken their job seriously, if I could change one thing about Black Panther, I would change how ignorant Terry Gilliam was. A name I associate with the word Voldemort, a name that shall not be mentioned. The 12th, or should I say the 13th monkey, no pun intended. <clears throat> to quote the so-called filmmaker, writer, producer, Terry Gilliam, I'll put my resume up against yours any day. While you may have more notoriety, I'm sorry for my drinking, because clearly that's what you were doing when you gave your Indie Wire review. And go check it out, guys. Even I won't be as ignorant as, he's, as he was, as I can control myself. But I would put my IMDb up against yours any day of the week. You have more notoriety. Still can't pronounce it, but maybe you can pronounce excellence when you see it. So maybe I was doing it on purpose because I'm such a method actor. I would like to provide the community of the world with a few quotes from the so-called director, actor. I'm sorry, let me take that back. He doesn't deserve that. Director, writer, I don't know, <laughs> whatever they call this guy. Quotes from the Indie Wire review regarding Black Panther. Quote number one, I hated Black Panther. If you want to look for the action verb in that sentence, the action verb is hated. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. I'm willing to accept that. It's some movies I hate it. You know, I get it. District 51, you know. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> I've hated a lot of freaking movies. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, that movie. Anything, uh, <laughs> anything with Catherine Heigl in it. Yeah, Vanilla Sky. You get it. So it's, I get no, why. No, whatever, whatever. See, whatever. Know, season oh. season two, stop. Okay. Season two. You, you're going to have to sell me on that. You <laughs> Oh my gosh, he turned so red. So with that being said, that was one quote. I hated Black Panther. If I can continue with quote number two, watching this movie made my blood boil. Okay. Okay. Then the question starts. See, worse than statements are questions. The statement starts, which are, I wonder whether the filmmakers even went to Africa. If that ain't the Caucasian kettle calling the pot black. <clears throat> and this one, just when I was ready to just, to, to just admit this as clickbait, the quote of 2020 came, and it wasn't even in 2020 when he quoted this. Out of everything that's been fucked up with 2020, this is the quote. Black Panther gives young black kids, which he's an expert in on speaking on, by the way, the idea... That this, this is something to believe in. It's bullshit. Utter bullshit. And right when I was ready just to send some tweet, which is like a hundred and some odd characters, I couldn't even get done with my tweet before I found this part, thanks to that algorithm that shall not be mentioned. They went and got some stylists for some African pattern fabrics and things. But I just hated that more. Partly because here comes the back back step because he know they fucked up. The media was going on about how important this bullshit was. <laughs> and guys, those are quotes. Those aren't opinions. Those aren't Facebook algorithms. Those aren't Instagram ads that you didn't ask for. But let me help you out real quick in my response to those things. Remember when he said they went. And got some stylists. See, here's the thing. Out of all the bullshit that happens that has happened to me in my life, at the end of the day, I still can put aside all that bullshit and still be a thespian and still respect art and you know artists and actors and actresses for what they believe in, even though 95% of sets are Caucasian or some color that is not mine. I still love the art so much that I can still appreciate people who are at least trying to do what's right. But when people are just being innately evil, that's what this show is going to do. We're calling you the fuck out. Let me tell you what he meant and what discredits every f***ing thing. Terry, the f*** you thought you were better than anybody that looked like me or put up a pin in their life, Gilliam said. Let me tell you how I know he's just 
not that guy. Remember when he said they went and got some stylists? Let me tell you the films and shows that this stylist has worked on. He couldn't even mention her f***ing name. This 79-year-old plus f could not mention her name. Just say her name. Shout out, Breonna Taylor. Miss Ruth Carter, which takes 30 f***ing seconds to IMDB, has been a part of the following entities. Black Panther, Dolomite Is My Name, Malcolm X, Amistad, Yellowstone, Four Brothers, I Spy, Baby Boy, Money Train, Corklin, Jungle Fever, and a little show that you know called f***ing Seinfeld. You ever notice how some white guys, Caucasians, I don't know, who've never been in the community that looks like mine, can pass judgment on a show? It's kind of funny is it not so terry gilliam if i can change one f***ing thing about plant black panther is that you never f***ing saw it because your opinion doesn't matter unlike all lives now in terry's defense you have defense for this no, really you no. want to do this <laughs> okay no, i just didn't think you were fired up enough i wanted to throw a little match real quick i did not want that to happen for us tonight <laughs> that's uh yeah yeah f terry gilliam hashtag cancel terry cancel terry you bigot <laughs> man that, that hurt so bad it's did you know all that i just said i i mean i knew part of it but no no uh <laughs> man he did he's ledger's last movie 12 monkeys like uh, why do you think he signed on, signed on for that <laughs> no comment thank you i'll make one out later yeah, whatever yeah. Cole and eyes are gonna be quiet <laughs> <laughs> ever k ross showing out tonight That's the trailer.